Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how do we convert the percentage into decimal in fraction. So let's begin with defining percentage. So as you know, percentage is nothing but it's a way to represent, to express a number as a fraction of 100. Okay. And usually we denote it by 20 and by percentage, this notation. Okay. So suppose if I say 25 out of every 100. So it is when we have to represent it into percentage, it is represented by 25%. Okay, so how it came? It is 25 portion out of the total, which is 100, and multiplied by 100 because we are converting into percentage. So this gives us the 25%. So now let's move to the example where we will see how to convert percentage to decimal. So first example is convert 23 percentage into decimal. So what we will do? 23 percent. So 23 percent, we write it as 23 percentage means divide by 100. Okay. Now we want to convert it into respective decimal. So, what we will see? We see here how many zeros are here? Two zeros. So, starting from the right side, we move towards the... When we write 23, it means the decimal is here at this position. So, from here, we move to the two positions on the backward side. So, the decimal reach here. So, this gives us 0 0.23 is the decimal equivalent of this percentage because this decimal moved here and then we put zero. Let's consider the next example, 48 percent. So 48 percentage will say it is 48 divided by 100. Again, how many decimal places are there? Two. So we move as currently the point is here. We move two positions backward so it is one two so when it moved to position towards the left the decimal number is here the point so it is point four eight so instead of simply writing point four eight we write zero point four eight we can write here only zero we cannot write any other number okay let's look at another example thirty percent so thirty so, what we will do? 30% again, we'll write 30% 30 as 30 over 100. Okay, then again, there are two zeros here. Here, two zeros, two places. So, you get your answer as 30 and decimal moved here with 0. You may write it as 0 0.3. Okay. Because if we look at here and cancel the zero with zero, so we left with only one zero in the denominator. Okay, so we need to move only one number on the other side. Let's consider five percent. Okay, so five percent means five divided by one hundred. So how many zeros you have here? One. Two, two zeros in the denominator. But in the numerator, you have only one number. So what you will do, your decimal is here. So this is the first position that your decimal will move. We don't have any other number here. So in that case, we can always write here zero before five. So to make it as a second digit and your decimal will move here. So your answer in this case will be 0, 5 and point here. Okay and it's better to write it as 0 0.05. So this is the decimal equivalent of 5 percent. Okay now let's see how do we convert percentage into fractions. So fraction means it can be in the form of 2 by 3, 4 by 5, 
something like that. Okay, so uh, now we have 15 percent. So again, percentage we have to convert into fraction. So first step will remain same. We write 15 percent as 15 over 100. This is also a fraction, but we always convert it into the lowest form. But it means it means that if there is something common in numerator and denominator, we should cancel that. So, 15 and 100. If you see 100, we see what will be the factors of 100. Similarly, we have to look for the factors of 15. So, 15 and 100, we can see that 5 is a common factor. So, 15 we can write 5 times 3. Similarly, 100 we can write 5 times 20. Okay. Suppose you don't remember the factors as 5 times 20 for 100. What you can do is, you know that the easiest one is 10 times 10. And then 10 you can write 2 times 5. Okay. So, you can do it in that way as well. And then you can write this also 2 times 5. So, this is another vector. Okay. So, what we get here? If we write, it will be 5 times 3 and then 5 times 20. Now, which number is same in the numerator and denominator? It's 5. So, your final answer will be 3 over 20. So, 15% is equal to 3 over 20 as a fraction. Okay. Let's work into next one, 36, 36 percentage. Again, working on the similar way as we did above, 36 over 100. Again, here we look for the term so that we can cancel out. Now here, we don't have 5 in the numerator, so it means it's not a multiple of 5. So what we have here, like 36. So, it comes from the table that you can write it as 4 times 9. So, now check how you can express like 100. Is it possible to express 100 as 4 times something? Yes? Is it? If you don't know like this, what you can do is you can work in this way. So, it is 2 times 5 times 2 times 5. Okay? So, you can write it as 4 times 25. Okay. Other ways, like as I said, you can split it as 10 times 10. And then make the factors of 10 as 2, 5, 2 and 5. And here 4, you can make 2 and 2. So, what will be the factors now? 2 times 2 times 9. Be careful when you are writing it in this way. You don't have to write 4 because 4 is further factorized. Here 2, 5, 2, 5. 2, 5, 2 and 5. So cancelling the common terms from numerator and denominator, it's 2 and 2. So what you left with? 9 in the numerator and in the denominator 5 times 5 which is 25. So, the fraction of 36 is 9 over 25. Similarly, let's work for 70%. It is 70 over 100. But you can see, 0, you can cancel from the numerator and denominator. So, it is 7 over 10. You cannot further factorize it. So, you stop here. This is the final answer. Okay. Let's take an example in which you have to convert 35% into decimal and fraction. So, we begin with 35%. So, first stage is to write it as 35 over 100. We use this for both decimal and the fraction representation. So, when you have to represent it in a decimal, what we do basically, we look Two digits, so we move dot and two points, okay, to the left. So it becomes, yes, 0.35 and we put 0 at the beginning, okay. Now, 
when we talk about converting into fraction, we look for the factors. Okay, so what are the factors for 35? For 35, we know the factors are 7 times 9 and 100. How we can write? 5 times what? Yes, 5 times 20. So it is 7 times 5, 5 times 20. Cancelling 5 and 5. So we get 7 over 20. So for 35 percentage, 0 0.35 is the decimal representation. And 7 over 20 is the representation in the fractional form. I hope it's clear now.